Right, welcome to another Golf Mates video. What a video we're in for today. It involves robots. Yes, robots. Uh, there's a golf course in north of England called Caris Green and they've uh, got themselves some robots cutting fairways. And I'm just wondering, are these robots going to do a good job? Or more importantly, are they going to put like green keepers out of a job? No, I'm a big up for green keepers. I always have done videos on the channel in the past. And I'm just wondering, can robots really cut grass well i'm going to ask the main man who's bought a couple graham from carry screen to find out i'm going to get the head greenkeeper warren to have his thoughts on it but anyway look at this thing tell you what while it's behind me do you remember night rider it's bloody kit isn't it You're right straight to graham oh. right we've got the owner graham here from carry screen we've got That's the machine it. flying away how did this all happen getting the machine for cut the grass basically because i think it's unreal uh, yeah, interesting journey. Uh, didn't see it coming. It was uh, all down to Warren, course manager, uh, and the guys there a little bit more tuned into the, the modern market. And they said, "We've got a demo of these robot mowers. Do you want to uh, do you want to have a look?" And primarily, it was for the driving range, which was what we were uh, looking. But I just pitched up to this demo and thought, "Wow, this this really could be it. This could be the future." So we've seen that cutting the fairways as we speak. Just a quick one. How much are they roughly, or what's it set you back? This one here, with all the charging and all the other bits, is roughly about 25,000. And that cuts fairways? That one is a fairway mower, yep. Off your head, how much is a fairway mower? These days, it's virtually doubled. They're getting up towards £80,000 wow. to replace what we've got. So if you had a few of these, could you cut all the fairways of the course? Yeah, I think... Um, Again, one for Warren this, but I think we'd probably need four, possibly five, something like that. Um, and then you can cut the fairways. That's the whole fairways and possibly surrounds as well. We haven't quite got there. So yet, I'm going to go it. for pros and cons. Yep. Pros, you can't hear it. It's behind you cutting. Yeah. I can't believe the timing of that. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. So I'm looking at this. First of all, thinking a robot cutting grass, but look at it, it's doing a great job. Yep. What's your fuel bill at the moment? Fuel bill works out roughly two and a half, three thousand pound a month when you average it all through. And what I'm told is that you can run enough machines to do the fairways and the semi rough will cost around a thousand pounds a year in total. Now, I don't know if that's true or not because I haven't done it myself yet, but well, that's, clearly that's, that's, a an, saving, that's an amazing saving, yeah. So, the pros for you, what are they? I'm going to give us, give us some pros. Um, a lot of these probably you need to speak to Warren about. From my point of view, I think capital-wise, you'll end up really big time in the plus. Specifically the semi-rough. There's another little mower that we use for the semi-rough. We've only got one of them. A semi-rough cutter now is nearly £100,000. These semi-rough, and you'd probably need about 10 of them, are about £5,000. So if you can get them doing the semi-rough through the night, again, you're looking what on capital. What do you capital. mean through the night? Well, these, they work any time of day, depending on when you want them to go out. They just charge up and go. Right, you said you're first for a driving range. No, I, I'm not a salesman. No, I'm thinking for a driving range now. These have got to be so cost-effective, aren't they? Well, yeah, the difficulty with the driving range, obviously, is you can't actually cut the grass until you picked all the balls up otherwise you slice all the balls up so our, our goal is to have a range where we can collect all the balls with an automated machine like this and then cut behind it so our final goal where all this started which was driving range based is can we mow the driving range and pick all the balls up and pitch up in the morning and it's all done for us now whether that's doable or not that remains to be seen but that's the actual goal. That's what we're trying to do. Right. At first, when I started this video, I was thinking these robots will put green keepers out of a job. But more I'm looking at it now, I'm thinking, not really. Funnily, the green staff were actually all for this. As uh, Graham said, we were the ones who organised the demo with Husqvarna. They came out to do this. And I did expect the lads to show some, you know, where it's going to lead us. But every single green keeper on my team was fully behind it, which has been a real big positive, to be fair. So will this say, now I touched on earlier on, Graham said this will work through the night. Yeah, absolutely. We've got an app on the phone, so we simply sit there, we can schedule it all in on a timetable, a bit like setting an irrigation system to come on at a certain time, to wander out here from the docking station, mow this fairway, go back, charge up, come out and do the next fairway, and we can do that throughout the night and run it into the next morning if we need to. So this machine now, what's it programmed to do for you, this one machine? For me currently, we're doing the, the fifth fairway, this one the eighth fairway, 
the one adjacent to us on number 17 and finally over 16 in the par 3 15th near our yard. So my think how long will it take cut them four fairways? Approximately six hours to mow this fairway. But that can be done at night? It can be done at night and this is where um, the machine needs to like expand as we talked about maybe two, three, four, maybe four machines on this golf course to do all the fairways. Clearly, the ride-on machine, we could cut all our fairways in six hours. So the question is then, well, why not? Why, why take six hours to mow one fairway? So obviously we need four, um, which comes in roughly uh, just slightly more than the price of a brand new fairway mower. But these can go out at night, work around the golf course, run into the next morning, and all the fairways can be cut before the golfers come round to us. Which is unreal, isn't it? I can then put that man onto other duties, the refinements, maybe hand cutting greens more often, uh, hole changing more often, we could do more aeration to the green tees and other areas of the golf course, invest more aeration into the fairways to improve the fairways that bit better. Quickly then, I'm going to ask you, because you told, actually told me, you can change the cut, can't you, the length off your app, but you can also do diamonds, stripes, you can Absolutely. program what you want. This is quite incredible now, um, as this is mowing this fairway now at 13 mil. Probably a height of cut at this time of year, we wouldn't probably go down to, we'll be thinking about bringing the height of cut up. But just from a simple, conditions change now, started to rain, go a bit wet, I can go on my phone, change it to 15 mil, 14 mil, and it will just raise ever so slightly and continue cutting at that. I'm noticing there's not much waste, why is that then? Well, we're actually cutting these five fairways more frequently than we ever did with the ride on machine. And again, and that's down to the fact I'm not needing a member of staff to come out and do it. It's using 24 hours of the day. So we're just literally taking off the tip of the plant each time. And the little blades on the side, the inside that rotate round, very much similar to a fly mole really, um, are about two pound for, uh, for one blade. And we change them every six to eight weeks. Right. So, so what does it cost for replace that then, 30 quid? Yeah, there's three cutting blades on, three discs with several cutting blades on. We're looking about £30 to change all the blades and it takes about five minutes for one member of staff to change them over. So I'm not going through the cost of a regrind. Um, so a regrind, just for people who don't know, is that like your blades of, or your fur? Machine? Yeah, we're taking them off. You go to, a, in our case, we have to take them away to one of our dealers because we don't have our own in-house um, grinding machine. Most but, golf clubs won't, will they? Most don't. It is becoming a more popular machine. People do have their own. But, uh, but we don't. Um, so we're looking at a thousand pounds roughly to grind our machines. Now we don't And that's do 30 that. quid for that? And that's 30 pounds. You're saving, saving, saving here. We are, you? we're doing it every sort of six weeks. We're getting a clarity of cut is fantastic. Every six weeks, new blades, really sharp. What's, what happens when it runs out of battery then? I'm just looking at it now and thinking, well, it can't go all day, can it? It can't go all even day. A blow, even we no, need a well, dinner. Even we need a brew, don't we? So yeah, he, he has a battery power, can do about um, four to five hours solid. Uh, and then it has enough time, it works out its distance back to the docking bay, sets itself off back, parks itself, doesn't require anyone to be there to do that, charges itself up, and then when it's ready... What does it need to up? charge up to come back to work? Uh, about an hour. What? One hour, it's fully charged back up and he's back out here for another four or five hours. I think these so, are going to be all over golf courses, aren't they? Especially if it gives you a chance to do the other jobs. Well, these it? sort of started in Europe and uh, they really took off in Europe. Um, the UK has been quite slow on the uptake. Um, I think maybe we're a bit more traditional. And they've only been going for a year now in the UK themselves. We've got so, to say, I can't believe we've been chatting away here. Oh, it's, it's already away. gone all the way over there, hasn't it? It works away very quietly. And... Uh, so golf is a new thing for Husqvarna. It's Would a very you? new area for you to get into, and they're learning as well. So what we've been very good to do with Husqvarna is work with them as well. We're sort of throwing in questions to them, and they're going, right, didn't realise that in golf. So they can go back to their uh, R&D department, really, and tweak things on mowing patterns. So you mentioned diamond. Yeah. Simply fact from the app, I can change the direction of cut. Can I have a look? By all means. Okay, so there's our... Is that it now? That's our Siora. Tells me there he's out mowing. He's got 77% battery. We can then go into the area he's cutting. So there are the five fairways we've got met, done. 16th is a two-part par five. The 17th, we're now on the 8th. So here he is. Is that the, is that the stripes so in there's there? There's the stripes there. He's working his way up the fairway. So even sat at home in an evening, I can check on this and just make sure that he's out doing unreal. his job. Yeah. So simply by then, we can go into, let's go to the eighth fairway. 
okay we've got a cutting height of 13 mil i won't adjust that as we speak because he's out mowing but we can slide that right up or down to 10 mil wow and i can do that right now and he'll adjust as we go pattern we can go into there so you can see i've got on a diagonal pattern so a diamond and it'll change that each time as well so it's not mowing exactly the same line it's unreal we can change that to straight up and down into play that is unreal so uh I'm going to be honest with you, what's the end game then, to get a few... I think the end game now, bear in mind, as Graham said, we talked about the driving range, that's where it all started. Husqvarna contacted us because they'd played here at the golf day. Um, it sort of sparked my interest with the driving range. And when we saw the quality of the finish on the short game academy that we demoed it on, we all looked at each other and said, let's be fairways. So it does the stripes. So in front of your 18th now, you've yep. got like approach yeah can it do stuff like we that we can do anywhere we can pretty much do oh, anywhere so just, what happens when it gets in the way like me see if it did, went off during the day absolutely well this is the good thing about these machines they do think for themselves we don't have to talk to them and tell them to move as they approach you the sensors in the front sense you and they stop they won't run into you they'll just stop he then turns himself around moves along and carries on the same mowing pattern on exactly the same straight line when it finishes the fairway, it will then come back to where it had to stop and cut that line. What, like touch it up as a decorator? It just goes up and touches that area, goes over that line. So it won't miss anywhere on the on this fairway. And then when it's finally finished the whole striping of the fairway, it will then do a perimeter cut two to three times round. It'll do that as many times round as it needs to, to cut into where it finished its line. I've seen that on and the drawing. It knows it exactly brilliant. how many to do. When It might be two, it might be one but it does that itself. The good news for me, who's always looking for a better finish, a better presentation to the golfer, is now we've got a pristine edge between fairway and semi-rough. I've not down to a little bit of human error that could just cut into the semi or just come in ever so slightly. The road's been planned, isn't it? It's the road's been planned, it's GPS, and say within two centimetres. Right, Warren, pros and cons. Okay, well, let's quickly start with the cons. I can't actually think of a con yet. We've not come across anything that's caused us any problems. Seriously? Seriously. Time, you could argue, is one. It does take a longer time, but that's it. But it's costing you nothing, though, is it? It's costing nothing. This machine, one machine is £300 a year in running costs, and that's electric. So that brings you on to the positive, and that's the green issue. In today's day and age, when we're trying to get our carbon footprint down, our emissions down, and be more thoughtful to this planet, this is a great way forward. Question for you. If you had some like solar panels, could it chart? Could you get your own Absolutely, electricity so it could yeah. be free? Top of our shed, there's a great big footprint there. We could put, put um, so we can put solar panels on, and that again would reduce our actual requirement of the, the grid itself. Uh, how long will it last for? Because it's a machine. 15 years, they're saying. It's not a machine. Years, one machine, 15 years. Now, you put that into the time we'd have to replace the fairway mower in that period. We're into like three times replacing the conventional fairway mower. So there's some big savings to be made here. I'm gonna call it, these are gonna be everywhere soon, aren't they? I think so, yeah, I think no so. No brainer, innit? It is. They started off in, in small gardens and then football pitches and areas like that, all square areas, and now they're coming out into the golf industry. And I think bit by bit, by bit people will click on and think, yeah, these have got a place and they will, we will see them out. So I love my golf, I want golf clubs to survive and make money. This is gonna help them, isn't it? I believe it will, I believe it really will help. Right, I hope you enjoyed that. I'm telling you what, listen, if you're a committee member, you wanna save some money or a greenkeeper, that's the help you need. It does great, honestly, you can see the stripes behind me. I'll put the drone up again. I think the stripes are a bit narrower than if it was a machine, but it's a great cut. Right, hope you enjoyed that. Something different. Cheers for Graham for helping me do that because uh, I found it dead interesting. Right, over and out. See you soon.